are now listen i might have good energy and i might sound like i'm not you know what i'm saying i'm feeling good but man so check this out I took today off and i took yesterday off so the day y'all seeing this video is gonna be the day we dropped the um hellcat 300 jailbreak video so i had to take today off for doctor's appointment some of you dirty ass niggas don't even go to the doctor you know what i'm saying y'all gotta go to the doctor make sure everything good your blood pressure and check everything like that make sure you ain't got that that lumpy lump <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, y'all. All seriousness. I'm on Southfield driving, cruising my appointment. I'm going like 80, 85. Now, I got my hand on the shifter right here. Actually, eBay isn't fully fake but I got my hand on the shifter. Like I normally drive, that's just my resting point. I got a message on my screen right here that says service shifter. I'm like, damn, I have my hand on the shifter. Is that something I was like making it go wrong or something? So, I put my head back up, looking out at the roads. I'm driving at this point. I'm going like 80, 85. But I seen that slow down to about 70 because I'm like, something is obviously not going right. So I cruise for like 500, 600 feet. And guess what? It pop up again, but this time it's like flashing. So I'm like, dude, what the hell? Now, while I'm driving, listen, while I'm driving, the freaking, is that a Ferrari? Yes. So I'm driving and the freaking gauges fall. So you know how you start the car and the gauges go up and stuff like that? The freaking gauges fall, then they go back up. And then I got my foot on the gas. So I'm trying to make sure the car don't turn off. Meanwhile, I'm on Southfield. Southfield traffic can get hectic and I got people behind me. I don't need my car just slowing all the way down. You know what I'm saying? I've been to got T-bone. So I see the gauges fall, but I'm, I'm touching the gas like this. Like, I'm in the gas just so I can keep the car on. That was my theory behind that. And I was trying to see if the car was still even on at that point. So, I noticed the car was still on. I pulled over to the shoulder, put the hazard lights on, and then put the car in uh, park. And then I went back to drive. Then now I, I merged from the shoulder into the, the right lane, kept driving. So, I pulled up to my appointment, cut the car off. Cut it back on, the car started back on, and I looked at the code. So the code was P0U42 or something like that. I'm gonna have the code right here on the screen. I'm like, damn, so meanwhile, I'm driving still to my appointment and I'm looking at the code because I'm thinking, holy shit, motor, motor ferry like pissing through the roof, pissing through the roof. I'm like, damn, bro, you know what I'm saying? I just got this car like in June. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not trying to get back on my feet. I don't got time to get a motor or nothing like that replaced. I'm like, damn, I'm driving. I'm doing my little research while I'm driving. Do not be on your phone or record while I'm driving. Don't do what I do. Please don't. But I'm reaching for the biscuit. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I didn't know if I could still drive or do I need to pull the car away immediately. Because it could have been like a code for like a, a piston misfire or something like that. You don't want to play with nothing like that. I get to the point where that boom, boom, boom. And then now we here. So now I'm on the way back home, cruising, and trying to get my car home to figure out what's going on and stuff like that. I looked the code up on YouTube. Now they were saying something with the transmission, like the module or something like that. Hopefully it's just like a fuse. So we're going to get home and then we're going to pull the fuse box off. Now I was recording a video today, but this is not the video I wanted to record. I wanted to make a fun video, a good entertaining video. Now you might have a My Car is a Lemon video. So yeah this is this is crazy i don't even know where i'm going i'm just doing a pov trying to explain y'all to get y'all caught up to what's going on but i'm gonna tune back in with y'all in one second i do got to figure out how i gotta get home i believe this is the right way i just don't know what exit but yeah this is crazy man hopefully this car ain't a limit because god damn you know what i'm saying and, and nigga, I'm, I'm trying to push a good positive movement in the car community and stuff like that and I really don't got time or like too much of the funds to, to be, you know, having to go through a lot of stuff like this. I'm gonna see y'all when I get home. Like the video already. Your boy need to get, you know, your boy going through it. So leave a like already. This video starting off kind of rocky, but make the everything come to a great end, hopefully. And then we just gonna pull the fuse box off and check the fuse and hopefully the fuse went off for the shifter one hour later so check this out y'all just got home and i pulled the fuse cover off and now i'm looking at the fuse i did a little bit of research now i said this is a transmission fuse and this one right here this third one on the right so i already pulled it because i couldn't like wait I'm, i didn't feel like recording at that second but i'm gonna pull it for y'all i got some big ass hands so if y'all don't know how a fuse looks when it's blue the little thing in the inside it's going to be like um separated so that's still connected and then we're going to check this one again 
and this one is still pretty good too so this one kind of hard to get out oh oh whoa, whoa, i'm gonna lose it but yeah i don't know how good y'all can see but that one is still in good shape too so I don't know what it is. I got this other video I'm about to watch where the guy said check the fuses inside the back. So we're gonna check the fuses in the back and see what's going on and see if it's the fuse in the back that's blue, but crazy, man. I don't understand what's going on. Hopefully I didn't buy a lemon, but this engine bay is kind of filthy. I kind of mean it is. So I need to get this clean very, very bad. Like hopefully it's just like a fuse in the back where i don't want to have to deal with like a transmission problem because i just got the car and stuff like that so hopefully it ain't a tcm or nothing like that that's too crazy so we're gonna go to the back of the car to the trunk and see what's going on back there check this out we're gonna start the car at the checking the fuses and see if the check engine light is still on <sighs> still on as y'all can see, so we gonna run the code again and let y'all see. Y'all don't know, don't pay attention to this because this is some wires broken from my shocks when I crashed. So if y'all don't know, these cars come with a, like a built-in diagnostics, whatever you want to call it. So you go up to number 11 page, you press OK, then it'll tell you the code. So say U0402 is the code that it's reading and that's something with transmission. I just checked the freaking transmission fuses. I do not see nothing wrong with them. They don't like they blew out. So. I think I'm gonna just go run this air real quick and I'm gonna come home and unplug the battery and let the battery kill all the power to the car. Hopefully it, you know, like um, fixes it or whatever. So, so I ended up taking the temperature for the trans to make sure it wasn't like the trans overheating or like that. This screen always takes a while to like turn on, but I checked the trans temperature. It was running at like 178 and like 183. I don't know how hot a trans is for it to be overheating, but that didn't look like it was like the, the numbers didn't sound crazy so now i said 161 but the car cooled off for like 30 minutes and stuff like that but the car is overheating and like that i just think i gotta unplug the battery components and let the car just chill out and everything like that but yeah that is the code and i don't see no other code popping up like it's only that code so Hopefully we can get this figured out. The car is still shifting fine. Like nothing's going wrong with the car mechanically. It's still shifting. It's still going in park. Still going in drive. Like nothing. Like you know. So I don't really see nothing else going on. It just maybe like I'm. It just maybe bugging. See now the camera isn't working. So I don't know what's wrong. The camera was working at first, and now it's not. A few minutes later. I oh, see where we at. We at Sam's Close. Guess what? Shit. We need freaking gas for the car, man. The gas in this car be killing me, bro. Damn, bro. Let's see how much we gotta take to fill it up. Y'all see the gas prices. Sheesh, not too bad. I mean, you know, it could be worse. All right, pull this out. Still manage to spill it a little bit, but let's see where we at. We are at $66 and 16 gallons. Ain't too bad. The miles per gallon did get a little bit better, so let's just see what it's saying. 12.1 miles per gallon for a tank. We got eBay. I actually hit eBay. It's not here today. No cap. But check this out, y'all. Let me turn the AC down because, you know, it's fridge and ain't here. I don't want y'all to have to hear that. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, fresh off work, we got to go to this car meet. My guy, man, got a tent shop and he, um, Started a tent shop, but now he got a car meet for the tent shop today. So I guess it's gonna be like the grand opening and everything like that. And he always supported me, so I'm gonna go out and support y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you support me, I support you. This ain't a one way street, it's a two way street, no cap. But we got a 30 minute drive to Garden City. We're gonna go over there and uh, it's a little car meet. I don't know how it looks over there, nothing like that yet, but we're gonna see what's going on. And he might be tending the windows. We are riding fishbowl. So I'm gonna see y'all when we get there. And uh, yeah, hopefully the energy good. I feel, I feel good. I, and you know what I'm saying? I don't know how I'm thinking I look good, but you know what I'm saying? Sweaty eBay, long dead work eBay. Pulled up into the tent. Wait, so I'm most likely gonna get my car tenant by my guy up here. So we in Garden City named Get Tenant. Go up here, support my boy. He got the beautiful 2SS 10 speed Camaro, man. And look at the big SRT 392. Sheesh. So if y'all don't know, but y'all probably don't know, my guy Bobby just got his car fixed you know what i'm saying my bobby got a swap uh i believe i forgot what year it was like the newer 300 so he got the swap fix you know what i'm saying so me and bobby go either link up here sheesh we're gonna link up here and 
link up here or we are going to um link up at his house or at Lottie. So we got some stuff to do today, you know what I'm saying? They wildin' bro, but come up here right here. I'm gonna leave all the information inside the description. Get tenant, man. Support my guy. Cause I ain't gonna lie, he gonna he he gonna take the whip. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, we got fishbowl, fishbowl, light tent, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta get everything good. Look at this. Fishbowl activities is not good. The ladies do not like when you in fishbowl. No cap. But we don't go across the street, look at the cars. Let's just make sure my car is locked. And then boom. She cars out here the owner said it was a lot of more cars out here earlier but you know i was coming anyway to support a business he always supported me so i'm gonna support him but look at the skyline <laughs> ice cream truck outside whoa look oh so this skyline hard like bronze looking wheels purple it's like a a wine red purple i don't know this i like the wheel color the wheel color is definitely hard right hand drive Steering wheel looking crazy. Why is on the floor? He probably tuned. I mean, fine, I got a tune on here or something. It's crazy, but look what's up under the hood. Jeez, this is a clean ass engine bay. Turbo, look like single turbo. It's hard. I love the purple accents. Like purple accents right here, right here, right here, right here. That's hard. And the engine bay is so clean. It looks so beautiful with the shrub ball going against the top. It's a nice build, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was really never into JDM cars until I like was into like Fast and Furious and stuff like that, like little tuners and stuff like that. But this is Loki. Little fucker sound good for Subi, and he got the Brembos on. I don't know what type of Subi this is. Shit. Sheesh. Subi lifestyle is crazy. Let's see. Let's see. Wheels kind of hard on here. Definitely digging the, the green calibers. Jeez. That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Perfect to stick it from up under there. No bumper. Crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I like this. Racing WRX seats. Stick shift. I don't know. It's, it's, it's some different type of cars. I really don't you see these type of cars a lot. Cause I'm in like the Mopar, like the sport car scene. You know what I'm saying? But I cannot get over how good this looks. Just look at this, man. Let me give y'all another look. I don't think y'all understand how sweet this car look. Yo, so check this out, y'all. So we ended up leaving the car me, good car me. I met a lot of people, I had a lot of conversations with some good people and like networking is, is, is key. So you know what I'm saying? We got the big SRT 392. I had to go wild mode, I'm tripping, but we got the big SRT 392 at the car wash, you know what I'm saying? And then we got, we got Leek here, Zeus here and Bobby here. So this is Bobby Swap, y'all. And jeez, that boy went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Get his car up and running. He got the fire seats. I ain't not gonna lie to y'all. These seats are better than seats I got. I'd rather have the suede and leather versus all better than it. Look at his radio. His radio is way better than mine. So he got no hood on a car. Tripping. That's not, look at my biggest eye. Look at, that sounds kind of good. I'm like, it don't matter. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, check this out. We are coming up to the end of the video, you know what I'm saying? I know it's funny. this video probably wasn't nothing too crazy, but it's a nice little short video, you know what I'm saying? I kind of watched it over a few times to make sure everything was good, but we got to run into the store real quick. I got to grab something. If y'all don't know, today is Labor Day, and guess what man we having a family grill out today i believe so i don't know what we doing all i seen was meat was took it out you know what i'm saying so uh yeah i gotta grab some stuff from the store you know what i'm saying and then we're gonna wrap it up at the end of the video so i don't know if we really did a lot so i guess this video is going to be wrapped around the car uh, i felt like i bought a lemon you know what i'm saying i was i ain't gonna lie y'all probably couldn't tell but in the video i was definitely tripping thinking i like with, with, with bought a limit because it definitely felt like that like if y'all were driving on the freeway y'all car freaked out y'all would be scared too because my car has freaked out before if not even this car my car has freaked out before and i was like what the f you know what i'm saying so it, it kind of just be like that you know so if you ever had a car and it did some weird stuff you know how i'm coming from it's like oh shit the world is ending you know what i'm saying so that is going to be concluding today's video. So like, comment, and subscribe. So I need everybody to leave a like so we can get inside the YouTube algorithms. YouTube can push the video. It really helps the channel get pushed. 
to like bigger audiences. You know what I'm saying? Your boy trying to really push this YouTube stuff and everything like that. And now we got Bobby on the YouTube side and I'm trying to get Ty to get back to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Ty give me a hard time. Ty, I know you're watching this video, bro. So I'm trying to get everything, you know what I'm saying, situated and stuff like that with the YouTube side of teams. You know what I'm saying? So we got good videos coming for sure. The next video, all I'm going to say is we're going to be definitely burning some rubber. So whatever y'all can add that up and, you know what I'm saying, figure out what that, you know what I'm saying, what it's going to be, figure it out. Let me know. Comment inside the comment section what type of burning rubber video. You can go ahead. What type of burning rubber video y'all think we're going to do in the comments? You know what I'm saying? So leave that in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. And then like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy eBay Shot It. Love y'all so much. Stay prayed up. Stay blessed. Unk out here on the moped. Unk feeling good. It's Labor Day. You probably feel good some nice little ribs. You know what I'm saying? But y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. Love y'all so much. Thanks for the peace and thanks for the support. And then until the next video, I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Appreciate y'all one more time. And guess what? It's eBay Shot It. Be out of here. We just hit 5.5K, hey, probably I'm less highly favored. Hey, so I'm going to see y'all right. when I see y'all. And if you stay this long, somebody's doing a burnout. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill